Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have a double shoe unboxing. I have a box here that I ordered from Essence with two pairs of shoes in it, and I am very excited to open these. One of these I am already kind of having second thoughts about, so we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna see how they look. We're gonna do, we're gonna try it on. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. But the other pair, I just know, I know it's gonna work out. Like I just feel it in the air. Essence was holding a sale recently, which is the reason that I picked these shoes up. There are so many shoes on sale. Honestly, so many sites, not just Essence, are having a really big sale right now so if you're on the market for some shoes and not only shoes there's a lot of things that are on sale so definitely check on some of these sites like my Teresa essence forward 24s all those sites I would definitely suggest satire also I would definitely suggest you guys check them out for some sales but if you guys want to see what shoes I picked up then please just keep on watching but wait you already know what I'm gonna say if you're not already subscribed explain yourself I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I feel like you're gonna want to be here when I do if you like luxury you like handbags you like fashion you like sales you like shoes. I feel like this is definitely where you're gonna wanna be, so you should subscribe if you're not already, and you should follow me over on Instagram. Oh, there goes the mic. And you should follow me over on Instagram if you're not already, it's just the K Danger. I post every single day over there. Every day is a real outfit of the day, something on stories. It's a lot of random crap over there, so you should definitely follow me if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's clip this mic back onto my dress, and let's roll into the video. Will it stay this time? Only time will tell. So I've got my scissors out and we're gonna open the box. There are two pairs of shoes in this one big old box. I feel like I have some gaps in my shoe collection and at least one of these is definitely gonna fill a gap. The other one, ah, it was kind of, you know, it was, I got sucked in. I got, I got sucked in. It was definitely not on the wish list, not on my radar at all, but I got got guys. Okay, I get got sometimes. The first pair of shoes is from Mock and Mock. Now this isn't the first pair of Mock and Mock shoes that I've unboxed on my channel. I'll leave the other unboxing that I did right up here, but I did end up returning those because the sizing was wrong. And then when I tried to get the right size, it was just a big fail. It was a fail. I update you in that video. Everything you want to know is in that video. But I kind of told you guys I was not interested in Mock and Mock, mostly because the rhinestones or crystals or whatever always fall off. There are like so many people who complain about that. So because of that, the first pair that I unboxed was actually crystal free. There was no crystals on it. So I really, I had high hopes, but again, the sizing was off. So I had to return them. This pair does have crystals on it, but you will understand why I picked them up. Inside, you can see absolutely nothing, so that was very unhelpful. Okay, so to reveal my new pair, oh my god, I see them, of Mach and Mach mules. Look at these mules! These are freaking stunning, you guys, and they were included in this. Oh, oh, stop it, stop it. These were included in the sale. I have no idea what the price is, maybe. I'll see if there's a receipt in the box. If not, I'll just leave it right here for you, how much I paid versus how much they retail for. But, I mean, the chances of crystals falling off of these have to be low, am I right? I think that the crystals mostly fall off of the other ones around like the strap area, which is actually why they remodeled them. So they kind of changed them so that the crystals are not really rubbing against each other anymore. But I'm still kind of a little wary of that. Plus, I feel like I'm kind of tired of seeing that style over and over again. So I thought these would be perfect. And you guys know, okay, I think it was in that same video. If not, I'll link the other video that I did right up here, I had bought some Versace heels in black because I need black like sandals, like black heels. I finally filled that gap in my collection with these and honestly, I haven't tried them out yet, obviously, but they're mules, like they're, they're gonna fit. I got them in a size 37.5, which is always my size pretty much. You guys know I have had some issues ordering shoes online but I'm just an online shopper. Like there is nothing I can do about that. I'm sorry. And obviously I really love the dollies by Louboutin, but I thought, I'm putting my sock back on because I had to take it off the dress. But I thought these were just a little bit more interesting, obviously because they have the little bow on the front. And with that bow, you kind of know that this is a mock and mock shoe without it being that signature mock and mock shoe that everybody wears. So I am just so excited and I'm loving a mule. As you will see, I am, I'm really into a mule right now and I think that's like all I'm gonna buy from now on is mules. So. so that's the first pair. That is the pair that I knew that I was gonna keep as long as they fit me, obviously, and they do. So those are not going anywhere. These, however, I almost had immediate regrets. Like I really got sucked into it and I just don't know how I let that happen and I don't know that I'm actually gonna keep them. I don't know that I'm even gonna like them because this will be my first time ever seeing them in person. So these shoes are from 
the Attico. So I feel like the Attico is very known for a very specific pair of shoes. And I kind of also just told you that I'm very into mules. So you probably know exactly what these are. But what sucked me in is the color. Oh my God, I just saw the color. They're so cool. How freaking cool is that? That is that is cool. These are, I think these are called the Devon Mule. If I'm wrong, I'll leave the right name here. But they're in like this chrome silver. What the? I don't know if you guys are even seeing it like the right way on camera but look how freaking the finish on this is amazing <laughs> what? i just felt like this would match everything because i'm very much like my shoes need to match a lot of things like i don't want to buy shoes especially expensive shoes that are gonna match like one outfit and then like never see the light of day again that's not what i'm into i want my shoes to match a lot of things i bought my amina what are they called Begum, Begum, PVC, slingbacks. <laughs> I bought these shoes because they go with everything, obviously because they're clear. But for me, they're kind of dressy to wear with just any old outfit. You know, like this dress that I'm wearing today is actually very casual. Like I wouldn't pair it with these shoes. I've been having kind of an issue finding shoes that match with some of my more everyday outfits. And like, to me, this was just it. Like this was gonna solve that problem immediately. The only thing that I'm worried about is that it's too silver. Does that make any sense? These shoes, by the way, are in a size 37.5. Oh, these are 115 mm. I did not know that. That is, that is high. Yeah, the 37.5 is perfect. So definitely take your actual like true to size. If anything, this fits better than the Mock and Mock shoe does. But I'm just, I don't know, you guys. Like, what would this match? Like, I'm looking at my wardrobe, and I can't imagine pairing those shoes with anything. <laughs> there is no part of me that doesn't think these are the most beautiful shoes like I've ever seen in my life. It's just, it can be beautiful and still not work out for me like on a day-to-day -day basis, you know? So yeah guys, that is it for my double unboxing. Definitely let me know what you guys thought about my new shoes. Let me know what you think about the Attico ones because those are really the ones that I kind of went into this kind of questioning and they're definitely more beautiful than I thought they were gonna be. Like I did not expect like such a chrome finish on those shoes. They are stunning, you guys. But just because they're beautiful doesn't mean I need to keep them, you know? So definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I'm doing it, so. But that is all that I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Stupid ass mic. I really need a wireless mic because this mic is just working my last nerve.